capital at the beginning of the year where do we take in your profit and loss account opening capital not given we should find out this loans comes under liability we need to pay if you minus this two you will get 22000 that 22000 we call it as capital Hello everyone I am your other sir lecturing with you from PU college the temple of excellence so we are in the session 3 of your topic called accounting for incomplete records now in the previous session we discussed two problems according to the format similarly we will work out two problems one will be on your profit and loss and another one will be on your statement of affairs and also we discuss a small concept so that we we'll, we are doing three problems in today's session first one from the following information given below ascertain the profit of the year so these are the informations they have given capital additional stock debt as premises machinery credit as drawings made during the year even though they have asked only to prepare profit and loss but we have information of balance sheet also we have information of statement of affairs also so that's why we will prepare both for this problem now just take out which are the things which are required are needed for your statement of affairs now in this you have capital at the beginning of the year capital at the beginning of the year where do we take in your profit and loss account remember profit and loss beginning means it is nothing but opening capital what you should do you should minus remember the format closing capital plus drawings minus opening capital minus additional capital now additional capital same procedure you should minus and a pnl account now so these are the information for pnl account now stock means it is an asset asset will come under stock will come under asset side next sundry data means you are receivable that is also asset business premises premises means the building it will come under asset machinery machinery means it will use it for manufacturing purpose so it is that it is also asset sundry creditors means you need to pay if you need to pay means we call it as liability drawings made during the year it will not come under balance sheet it will come under profit and loss account so it is not part of your balance sheet remember this is your profit and loss account drawings always add so this much information you have first classify which comes under liability which comes under asset which comes under profit and loss account we are preparing both so for assets and liability 1 2 3 4 total we have four assets and one liability we'll go for the answer solution statement of affairs liability amount and asset amount now you have stock debt as premises machinery we have total four assets as we discussed we have written four assets i'll go back to your question stock debt as premises machinery stock debt as premises machinery we have taken now liability side we have only one that is creditors how much we have creditors 33400 your creditors is 33400 now from the total your total is 96100 Your total is ninety six thousand one hundred. From ninety six one hundred, if you minus this, 
you will get 60 to 700. How to calculate? 96 100 minus 33,400. Your answer is 62,700. Hope you are clear. Clear? Yes. This is all about your statement of affairs. Now, we'll go for profit and loss account. In profit and loss account, again I'll go back to your question. We have opening capital, we have additional capital. These things we have to minus. How much we have? 70,000 and 17,500. Then we have drawings also. It is 26,400. But the problem we should start with what? Closing capital. Where do we get closing capital? In the question, they have not given closing capital. To find out closing capital, we did statement of affairs. Take a screenshot of statement of affairs. Once I done with profit and loss. Now, to find out the closing capital, we did statement of affairs. How much you have? 62,700. Now, your closing capital is 62,700. I'll go back to your question. What was your drawings? 26,400. Add drawings 26,400. Once if it is added, two things we have to minus. One will be your opening capital and additional capital. What is your opening capital? 70,000 minus. What is your additional capital? 17,500 minus. Hope you are clear. Yes. So finally, we will get profit during the year. That is 1,600. Clear? Yes. This is all about your statement of profit and loss account. Now, your statement of profit and loss account is done. Your statement of office also done. So your final answer, you have to call it as 1,600. I'll go back to your first slide so that you can take screenshot. This is your question. You have to mention which comes in asset and which comes in liability as well as your p and &L. This one takes screenshot of this. This is your statement of affairs. This one is statement of profit and loss account. Now, now we'll move for the next problem. It is a small problem. From the following information, calculate capital at the beginning. Now, they have ca given capital at the end. Closing capital they have given. It is ulta. Normally, opening capital they will give. We have to find out closing capital in this. Closing capital they have given. We need to find out opening capital. Closing capital given. Drawings, it is there. Fresh capital means additional capital fresh means additional additional next profit for the current year it is given 8000 profit we should find out but i have given directly how to find out opening capital simple now normally what we used to do we used to take as closing capital plus drawings minus opening capital minus additional capital you will get profit this is the actual procedure of doing problem you know this because we have done many problems now in this closing capital it is given drawings given opening capital not given Opening capital not given. We should find out this. This is given. Profit also given. Drawings. Everything is given but opening capital not given. How to find out? Closing capital as per the problem. How much we have in this? The end of the year we have 4 lakh. Plus. 
drawings do we have? Yes, we have 60,000 minus, we don't know. Additional capital, how much we have? Fresh capital is 1 lakh. Is equal to profit. Profit already given 80,000. Now, in this, 4 lakh plus 60,000, it will be 4 lakh 60,000 minus 1 lakh. And we already know the answer 80,000 minus both. So, 1 lakh and 80,000 if you minus, how much you will get? You will get 2,80,000 as your opening capital. Don't worry, we have a solution. Just I have given you hint how to do opening capital. We'll go for the solution. Capital in the beginning, opening capital you are finding out. The format, capital at the end, closing capital plus drawings minus opening capital and minus your profit. Now. So if you do all calculation, you will get answer of 2,80,000. Like this, you have to calculate your opening capital. Normally closing capital, they will give. If you want to find out opening capital, this is the way. Now I'll go back to your first one. Take screenshot of this question as well as working note. So this is the actual answer for that question. Now we'll go for the last question for the day, for the session. Now, from the following information given below, calculate closing capital. So take a screenshot of this because you only have to prepare this problem. Now, following information is given below, calculate the closing capital. How to calculate now? They have given credit as bills payable, loan, bills receivable, stock and cash. You have amount of 2016 and 2017. You have two years information now. You have to do it 2016 separately and 2017 separately. So separately we will calculate for 16 as well as 17. Now in this Credit as bills payable, loan, bills receivable, stock, cash. We have to find out which comes under asset, which comes under liability. Now, credit as, credit as will come under liability because we have to pay. Bills payable comes under liability, we need to pay. Loans comes under liability, we need to pay. Bills receivable. So anything which is receivable always, asset, stock, asset, cash, asset. So if you want to remember all this, go back to our first session. In that I have given you format. If you follow that format, it is easy to remember everything. Hardly it is half of the page, easy to remember then. So same thing will apply for 2016 as well as 2017. Now. Calculation of profit or loss and ascertainment of statement of office at the end of the year. Opening balance is given. Opening balances are given. Where it is given, you will understand and you will get to know at the end of this problem. Now, these are the informations we have. What we will do? We will prepare for 2016. Then we'll come for 2017. Now, Statement of office as on April 2016. Now, as we discussed, credit as bills payable, bills receivable, stock and cash. Prepare everything. Later you can take screenshot. First you will understand now. Now, so total of asset 37,000. Later, total of your liability 5 plus 10, it is 15,000. From 37,000, if you minus these two, how much you will get? From 37,000, if you minus these two, you will get 
2000 that 22000 we call it as capital balancing figure hope you understood now once if it is done so it is a statement of affair of 2016 we don't want 2016 we want current year means we want it for 2017 now same procedure prepare everything i'll go back to your question while doing 16 you should consider this one while doing 17 you should consider this one remember in 2017 we don't have bills payable 2017 bills receivable stock cash in the liability side we have creditors and loans we don't have bills payable now now what is the total 1 lakh from 1 lakh if you minus these two you will get 20000 that 20000 we call it as closing capital any doubt up to this hope oh, there is no doubt so take screenshot of this this will be your question we have to classify which comes under asset which comes under liability later we have to prepare the statement of affairs of 2016 please take screenshot of this then we have to prepare for 2017 take a screenshot so both the balance sheets are done we'll come back to your profit and loss account now easiest thing closing capital 20000 how did you get this 20000 yeah 20000 is closing capital for closing capital in this problem they have not given drawings nothing to be added now less capital opening capital we should minus where do we get opening capital i'll go back to your question in the question nowhere they have mentioned that how much is your opening capital how to find out opening capital now you are doing for 2017 whatever closing capital for 16 again i'll repeat whatever closing capital for 16 will be opening for 17 remember today you have 1000 rupees before you go to bed so tomorrow it will be how much it is 1000 only today's 1000 is a closing for today but tomorrow morning this 1000 will be what opening balance similarly whatever closing for 2016 that will be opening capital for 2000 17 now 2016 we have closing of 22 this closing will become opening closing of 2016 will become opening of 2017 clear yes see we have taken capital on april 22 20000 minus 22 what is your profit it is a profit or loss it is a loss why because you have 20000 but your opening is 22 you have less of 2000 so your loss during the year is 2000 your final answer in negative value you should consider as loss if your final answer is in positive that will be your profit in this problem it is a loss clear simple but i have to prepare for two years so this is all about your today's session we discussed three problems for six mark each so i'll end this session with a saying that learn concept and earn marks